It's been a year now since Denver launched its pay as you throw trash collection service with the goal of getting residents to recycle and compost more. Compost bins began rolling out in July, but we're still hearing from residents who are frustrated and confused as to why they haven't gotten theirs. Well, our Rob Harris is following up and continuing to ask and work for answers. We're looking at the inside of my fridge and freezer. For many months now, Nana Lee's been using her freezer to keep the food she doesn't plan to eat. This didn't make it into my tummy, and this is the mix-all bag. I also didn't bring the bag of green potatoes that have to end up getting frozen and driven over to the uh, transfer station to be composted. Lee says she's been composting for decades and it's become her passion. But when her backyard composter broke, she didn't fret because she assumed a brand new green composting cart from the city was on its way. I was thrilled that the city was going to be composting and get everybody on board. I mean, that was the idea. And it seemed like a great idea to me. In July, the city began delivering composting bins to those who didn't already have them. And I thought, well, okay, you know, it'll be one waste area, then the next two weeks later, and then two weeks later. But I never got a, a compost bin. And so I wait, and I wait, and I wait. Lee says she spent hours on the phone with the city at this point, trying to get answers. Trucks already pick up composting for her neighbors who had their bins before the citywide rollout. And instead of driving her frozen compostables into the center, she'd rather pick up her green cart herself. I do that in a New York minute. I've been communicating with the city about this. They're not letting folks pick up their own green carts at this time. And I'm told that's because the rollout is intentionally slow. They're doing it neighborhood by neighborhood and starting in places with traditionally low composting and recycling rates. That way they can track how many non-compostable items are ending up at the green carts, then educate on the process, prevent contamination, and then move on to other neighborhoods. This map shows the collection districts throughout the city. They're doing one district per quarter. District two is now done and folks in district four are up next. So they should be getting their carts in February. But Lee lives in district six. And as of now, there's no projected delivery date for compost carts there. And I don't want to wait that long. Lee's disappointed with that answer. But all the same, she says she'll keep freezing her compostable food and driving it in herself. I'm going to have to. Um, I, it just breaks my heart to put it in the trash. For Denver 7. I don't see any other way around it. I'm Rob Harris. Last January, the city moved to a volume-based pricing model for trash collections. Residents pay for what they throw away based on their trash cart size, with weekly recycling and composting included at no additional cost. Denver's diversion rate is up 3% from last year, as more than 5,000 tons of recyclable material was diverted from the landfill through November of this year compared to last.